Let's take a minute to talk about copyright, article processing charges, access to information, and why you shouldn't publish with the American Psychological Association. Here's an example of an article that I published with a traditional copyright. As you can see, in order to access it, if you don't have a subscription, you have got to pay. I, the author, do not have the copyright. I had to transfer it over to the American Educational Research Association in order to publish in their journal without paying an article processing charge. What happens if you pay an article processing charge usually? Let me show you. Anybody can access this article and read the article in its entirety, not just the abstract. And that's because, as you'll see here, if you go over to the licensing, it is Creatively Commons licensed. In order to get a Creative Commons license, my grant paid $3,000 to that journal in order to have that happen. That's how most commercial journals work. However, American Psychological Association is different. I just found out because I had an article accepted with an EPA journal that I can pay to have the article be open access, which I'm doing. However, APA maintains the copyrights. I am not allowed to maintain the copyright. That's the situation with every single one of APA's journals, with the exception of technology-minded behavior. Frankly, this is inexcusable. What am I spending $3,000 for if I don't have the right to decide who gets to read my work? Yes, APA says they will allow it to be publicly available, but what if they change their mind, which they can, if they have the rights to the work rather than me?